When was the last time we filmed? Christmas. Oh yeah. Well, yeah. Well, we film a lot of other things. <laughs> yeah. That sounds weird. <laughs> <laughs> Might be recording. <laughs> <Ooh. laughs> I forgot what I'm doing. Live. Hot live. Hi everyone. How are you doing? I hope you're doing well. Look who I'm with. <laughs> Nala. <laughs> I'm with Nala in yeah. the back. I'm obviously joined with the lovely Zoe today. Hello, love. Thanks for coming back on my channel. That's all right. Thanks for having me. Um, so today we're going to do something really fun, and we're going to do the two truths, one lie. I am so ready for this. I'm really excited for this. So we both got like one, two, three, four different sections. Small <laughs> <laughs> little notebook. When we were writing them out, we were really quiet, weren't we? we were, like you were like covering your page. Oh yeah. <laughs> Gotta like... keep that secret. <laughs> 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 So, we're gonna have to guess. No. Oh. <laughs> Get out. We've got two truths, right? And yep. one lie. And one lie. And we're gonna have so to we're gonna say it. <laughs> <laughs> we start off by saying three statements, two of which are the truth, one of them is a lie, and we have to guess which one the lie is. Perfect. Couldn't have said it better <laughs> myself. No, you couldn't. That's <laughs> why I did it. <laughs> right, you go first. Guess All right, first. Are you please. sure? Yeah. When I was in school, I used to act out lots of different scenes from my favourite films. So I would learn all the words and act them out. I was really super bossy and I would make all my friends do it with me and I would give them parts and make them learn lines too. Okay. <clears throat> one of them of, one of which was My Girl. <laughs> that was one of my faves. I used to do The Running Man at school discos. Okay. Do you know what that is? Yeah. Well, it's, the, it's this one. Oh yeah, I know that. Yeah. 90s classic. Yeah. And I once got told off for pushing my brother into a road. Oh. One very sunny day walking out of the library. I think number f the third one's a lie. Do you really? Yeah. Damn it! Yay! I would never push my you brother. You could never push no. someone in the road. No. <laughs> Can you imagine if Yeah. One point to moi. One point to you. Okay, so I got my head stuck in a wall um, because I wanted to speak to my neighbour. So there was a wall and a fence in between. Right. No, there was a hole in between the wall and the fence. And I wanted to speak to my neighbour. So I put my head in it to speak and my head got stuck. How'd you get it out? My granddad. <laughs> <laughs> my granddad. So the first day I learned how to ride my bike, mm. I was like on this little green patch where my friends were there. I was like, ah, oh, I've just passed my... <laughs> <laughs> Look at me go! <laughs> Just have my stabilizers taken off, guys! And I fell off and the handbrake went into my knee. Mm -hmm. Which I've got a very big scar on my knee. Right. And the final one, um, I was like sort of trying to boogie board in Cornwall and I got smacked in the face by a surfboard. Let me look at the vein. Which is the lie. I think getting your head stuck in the wall <laughs> is a lie. Like, how does anyone do that, really? It's the truth. No, it's not! <laughs> yeah, it did actually happen. <laughs> like, what? proper wedged in. <laughs> I just didn't yeah. know people could really get their heads stuck. I was a child. Oh, okay. Yeah. With so which one head. was the lie? The surfboard one. Oh, I was going to go for that yeah. one. I was like, I just don't see you as a surfing type. <laughs> no, not a water person. Okay. I used to keep ladybirds as pets when I was about, I must have been seven or eight. Mm -hmm. And I kept them in an ice cream container, you know, like the old Bulls vanilla ice cream. <laughs> soft scoop. Kept, yeah, soft scoop. Kept them in that until one day I decided to let them all free in my brother's bedroom. Because okay. I thought it would be pretty. Um, I once swung on my chair in my class so hard, like I went, I was, you know how you always used to swing on your chairs? Mm -hmm. Teachers used to say, don't swing on your chairs, you're gonna hurt yourself. I did that, and as I was falling back, I grabbed the table, which I obviously shared with my friend, two people to, per table, grabbed the table and brought the table back with me, thus bringing my friend back <gasps> with me also. Okay. And we got wedged against the wall. Someone had to come and get us out. Or, <laughs> this one's quite funny. I used to, so I don't know if it's a joke or a lie. <laughs> yeah, you're playing too much with that one. <laughs> I used to pretend to give birth to my teddies. Oh. 
Okay, so I think the table one's a truth. Right. And I feel like the ladybird one's a truth. So the, 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 the birthing of the teddy bears <laughs> is the fake one. Oh my god! But I thought babies were born out of your bum, so I oh, okay. to pretend they came out of my bum. So you would just be like, hey! <laughs> <laughs> oh no, which one was the lie then? The ladybird. Oh, that I could see you doing that yeah, though. Yeah, I probably would do that to be fair. <laughs> okay, so I pooped in the bath. Right. I salute magpies for good luck. Right. I once starred in a... <laughs> in, a <laughs> <laughs> in a primary show. <laughs> in a primary show? <laughs> He won't start in a primary show. <laughs> in a primary school show with Annie, and like, my mum and dad and my aunt were in the, in the seats, and I went myself on stage. The last one's a lie. Oh, yeah, because I, <laughs> I stalled too much, didn't I? I once fell off my bunk bed. So, me and Joe had bunk beds. I once fell off, bashed my head as I fell down. My parents then took the top bunk off the bottom one because I refused to sleep in it while it was still on the top. That same night, I saw a mouse run across. <laughs> this is not my story, isn't it? That same oh, night. A <laughs> moment. My God. And then I saw a mouse run across my fireplace. So I screamed and I cried and I went into my parents' room and I said, look, you know I've hurt my head, but I just saw a mouse. And my mum came in and she said, no, that wasn't a mouse, that was a spider. It was a mouse. She, and then she made me feel like I was going crazy. Okay. There's this place I really like called Black Gang Chine in the Isle of Wight. And I used to go there a lot when I was younger. And uh, they have these big, like, plastic fake dinosaurs. Mm -hmm. And me and Rod used to climb up them a lot. And I, like, slipped down his tail and, like, basically fell all the way down, hit my face. I once edited footage, like, video footage and photos of me as if I died. <laughs> Black Gang China. Black. I think that's a lie. Correct! That yeah. So I was at a party a couple of years back and we were on a bouncy castle that my friend hired out and my friend accidentally jumped on my head and I literally passed out for like a few minutes. Right. Okay. Um, I had an imaginary friend growing up called Sam and literally every time I got into trouble I'd blame him. Mm -hmm. And the last one is in year five um, everyone in the year group had to uh, enter like a poetry contest <laughs> and, I, and I won it. And I got like a, um, like, what's the word? Like a personalised book given to me, handed by the head or something. And it turns out my dad actually wrote the poem, so it was his poem that won it. I think the bouncy castle's a lie. Okay. Final answer? No. Why are you saying it like that? Mm. Oh! It's either, I think it's either the imaginary friend or the bouncy castle. The bouncy castle's a lie. Okay. The lie is... I had an imaginary friend called Sam. Oh, yeah. damn. Because I never got into trouble. <laughs> <laughs> so you actually passed out on... Yeah, for literally like a couple of minutes and like people were pouring water over me because they thought I was dead. But he literally jumped on my head and oh. my head got like trapped. Oh God, that sounds horrific. Yeah, it was really scary. I've never Glad passed out. Glad you to tell the tale Thank in a true or lie, dare video. <laughs> truth or <laughs> <Truth or die. laughs> I have a scar on my thigh. Mm-hmm. About here, uh, from burning myself on a barbecue when I was 13 years old. I once electrocuted myself whilst on the phone because I plugged in a plug without the plastic bit on the back of it. Okay. <clears throat> or one of my first pets, one of the first pets I ever had was stick insects. Okay, so <clears throat> what was cooking on the barbecue? All the traditional things like burgers, sausages, got some kebabs on there. Mm -hmm. And what plug were you plugging in? straighteners. Okay. And the third one was insects. Stick insects. It was your first pet. <clears throat> Did you buy them from a shop? I actually can't remember where I got them from. I think we knew someone who had them and then when they had babies they gave us some. <laughs> That's a lie. Stick insects can't have babies. <laughs> can't they? Can they? <laughs> <laughs> what have they reproduced then? <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick with the stick end sex being a lie. Uh -uh. Oh no! What was the lie? The burning on the barbecue. Oh. I do not have a scar because I did not burn myself on a barbecue. All the traditional things. <laughs> of the barbecue. I know. I was like, all the traditional barbecue things. Burger, sausage, right? Sausage and bajar. <laughs> so I was on holiday and I slipped over in the fish department in Spain, and I did the splits. Right. 
bash my knee open. I turned up at an all female modeling audition mm. and I still ha had to partake in it, just they wanted to see what I was like. Once I had my phone stolen and they rung my house phone and were like, oh yeah, you left your phone in Starbucks and they rung me and were like, oh, do you want to meet back where you lost it? Went to meet them and then they asked me out on a date. Which one is the lies? Why were you in a fish department? Because <laughs> I was in a supermarket getting some crisps. In the fish department? Well, I was walking around having a browse. <laughs> right, and the second one was... Uh, the female modelling agency audition. I feel like that's true. I feel like that's the sort of stupid thing you do. <laughs> I am not saying a word. <laughs> the fish department is false. Okay, that is true. As in, I got it right, or it's true? No, it's a true statement. I did fall over in this. In oh, this so it's the last one that's false. Yeah, the last ah, one. <laughs> damn it! No one has ever asked me out on a date. Never? <laughs> yeah, they have. I was just trying to make feel bad. You won. <clears throat> Yay! You won. But we've definitely found out a lot more about each other. I feel like we're closer and closer. Why am I going with this? <laughs> And closer, and closer, and closer. I don't know what I was going to say. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. I'm sorry. Thank you so much for coming on my channel. That's okay. I've had so much fun. Uh, make sure to check out the video we did on Zoe's channel. What did we do? We had a lot of fun with the speech jammer app. Yes, it was crazy. <laughs> so, um, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a massive thumbs up. It really means a lot. And we will see you very soon. Bye. Bye! Also, don't forget to subscribe to Mark. Oh, could you subscribe to me, please? Look, isn't that just so polite? Absolutely. And obviously, if you haven't subscribed to Zoe, which you probably already have, please make sure to subscribe and give her lots of love. Oh, thanks. You're thanks. welcome. Bye! Bye. <laughs> oh, Thank that you was for good. watching. <laughs>the battery okay we're yeah we're halfway okay <laughs> right what are we do we're filming a video <laughs> let me just get my notes <laughs> all life all life all life she's bumming me do, 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 do. she's bumming me out no no get off mark's ass <laughs> get off me out get out of his anus <laughs> <laughs> Smoke and a bunky. Smoke and a bunky. We're gonna take it in turns. Obviously, I've got to guess which one the lie. <laughs> which one the lie is? Yeah. Great grammar there, Mark. Gotta guess guess which no one way. the lie is. And we. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what is that fight you go to me? We had the dead. It's the kick of your mouth. What? <laughs> I thought you said the sticky in your mouth. <laughs> I was looking at your mouth, I was like, and I said as you said it. Right, so... You've got a bit red. Have I? Yes. <laughs>